So here we're standing on the top of our levee, uh, this Cayugas Creek levee. Off to the side over here, we have our main floodplain. This is Camp Park, University Park. Over here, we have the main channel of Cayugas Creek. You can see the Thalweg running through the middle here. We have the main core of the channel. Then we have the um, riparian gallery on the sides. Um, includes large woody debris. Also includes a lot of um, riparian plants here, cattails and other, other sedges and things. This area right here is, is actively cleared, is actively managed with active vegetation management at least once a year to reduce the amount of stuff that might clog and, and become a problem for the bridge, etc. Um, so we, without that active management, this would be much more heavily vegetated. The area on the other side, as you look, you can see, um, see more of the, the bare sand as, as with right here. So that area is more heavily disturbed more frequently in terms of floods and flows. Um, but in general, this uh, area here uh, is the way it's been for several decades. So um, this levee first went in in the early 1900s. Hasn't been particularly well maintained here, so we have some, some erosion of the levee behind me. Um, but uh, this levee is the main hydrological constraint for this particular site. Here at Camarillo Regional Park, what campus likes to call University Park, all of this is CSUCI property and is open to anybody that wants to come recreate. Uh, again, uh, in the time of COVID and in evening times, it's closed, but normally um, gates are open and you only need a regular university parking pass that you can get right there at the kiosk or anywhere on campus uh, to park here. You can also walk in from afar, ride your horse in from afar, etc. out here at Camp Park.